Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to Drumroll Please, The Domain. Today I'm happy to announce that the Mega Halo Fan Vote 2023 is now open. Before I start off this video, I want to thank you all for 400 subscribers on my new channel. I'm giving away Lights of Sanghelios pretty much every week for the foreseeable future. All you have to do every week to enter is comment on my most recent video with either feedback on the video topic, feedback on your own experiences of the video topic, or feedback on how I could improve or what you really like about the video because I'm trying to construct a new YouTube channel now and your feedback is vital. I gave the full rundown of details for this competition on Monday, so I highly recommend you checking that out. Link, as always, in the description and the comments down below. The Mega Halo Fan Vote 2023 is three stages all month, and then pre-orders for the set go up exclusively on Mattel Creations and ships worldwide next year. This is technically the fourth Mega Fan Vote, but the third Mega Fan Vote in a row. In 2021, we voted for a figure. 22, we voted for a set. Technically, there was a secret fan vote back in Halo Fest. So Mega have had a history of having in-game items in Halo, and it's always dope to see. There was a logo, an emblem in Halo 5 Guardians that I rocked for years, and then there's been a few in Halo Infinite. Quite a while ago now, I did a detailed breakdown of all of the Halo Infinite Mega Constructs downloads, including my favorite, the Master Chief Weapon Charm. But one of the DLCs was the Action Block Armor Coating and Warthog Coating, and you got that from purchasing a Pelican Inbound or a Warthog Rally from the original 2020 release. And it was always funny with this game because the were 2020 releases of a lot of these codes, for example, Jazzwares and Mega and even Target and Monster Energy Drink. And a lot of those weren't even available in the game because the game was delayed by a year. So you just sort of had them for a full year in your Halo Waypoint downloads, but you couldn't see them. So it was always quite funny. I, I downloaded my action block coating like a year before the game came out. So I had no idea what it was going to look like. Turns out it looks great. This lovely light blue. And this was again available just from those two sets uh, at the original time of release. I've also seen these coatings compared to the Faithful vs. Fallen pack, which I hadn't thought about before, but I saw it on Reddit today, and it's pretty spot on. Maybe Mega did submit uh, the pictures of the Faithful vs. Fallen figures as reference for their official coating in Infinite. You never know. So obviously voting for the action block would be cool to see an official Mega DLC created in Mega Blocks form. That would be really dope. The second one, which is quite similar, is the Perfect Detail Warthog coating. Now this was from a Jazzware product. You had to purchase the original WCT Jazzware's Energy Sword. You can actually see in the picture, you can see the little code hiding in the background. There was also a Jazzware emblem that was from the original Spartan Halo Heroes Cat and a couple of the original World of Halo figures. And that was released in 2020 as well. Also came with an assault rifle coating. Really nice, really nice. And cool to see Mega and Jazzware kind of having a little collab behind the scenes there. The next two coatings were purchasable in the store. Hopefully they will be purchasable again. I don't know why the store only ever has four items at a time. It kills me. The first one is Zodiac River. This was only 500 credits and included a Warthog, Rocket Hog, and Razorback coating, as well as performance wheels. I don't know why you would ever pay for different wheels. Each to their own, but like, I, I would not do that. And then we also had Flash Fjord, which was uh, in December, roughly. I want to give credit in the description and the links down below to the original creators of these videos I'm showcasing. But the Flash Fjord was a thousand credits, came with armor coatings, weapon coatings, vehicle coatings, and a cow catcher add-on. The cow catcher add-on was pretty dope. I don't know why you would get wheels, but the cow catcher looked pretty good. The Zodiac River and the Flash Fjord do both look nice. I've seen some comments on Discord saying that the Zodiac River would be the most uh, challenging one for Mega to produce. And the final one is Neon Superfly. That was originally released during the Cyber Showdown event, which was January of 2021. And it was re-released recently for 1,200 credits with the Yoroi and Mark 7 coatings, Combat Ready Stance, Vehicle coatings, the Will-O-Wisp Visor, and Weapon coatings as well. And the Neon Superfly is seriously dope. I'm all about that sort of cyberpunk covert ops kind of coatings for my mega. So I might have just given away which one I'm going to be voting for. And I don't want to uh, sway any votes. I don't want to be convincing my subscribers to go and spam a vote. You make up your mind on your own, but I'm going to be voting for Neon Superfly. I just think it's a really dope coating. I think it stands out from the rest. The action block would be really great because that would be a sort of an iconic stamp on mega. This is both in the game and in mega. But I guess at the same time, anything <laughs> that Mega produces from this is also in the game. 
So, I don't know. I think I'll be voting for Neon Superfly, but I would love to hear what you're going to vote for in the comments down below. This kind of video is super important to me, so please do make sure to like and subscribe if you want to keep up to date with all of this information. And the voting will be closed on Sunday for this round. You can only vote once. I tried, but uh, it's tracking IP addresses, so that's pretty cool. Stop spam votes. The winner of round one will be announced on Wednesday of next week, and then round two will open on the Friday. And round two will be voting on the mongoose coatings, so let me know down below what kind of mongoose coating you would like to see as well. There's that ridiculous UK exclusive game one that just looks so hideous, <laughs> and I would kind of respect if that was the one they went for. But yeah, we got the action block, perfect detail, Zodiac River, Flash Fjord, and Neon Superfly. I wonder which one's gonna win. If I was to guess, I think at the end, first place Neon Superfly, second place Zodiac River, third place Action Block, or maybe Flash Fjord, and then last place Perfect Detail. But I don't know, and I don't want to sway your votes, and I look forward to seeing who wins. So this has been another video with The Domain. If you like this kind of content, please do let me know. The Mega Halo Fan Vote 2023 is three stages all month, and then pre-orders for the set go up exclusively on Mattel Creations and ships worldwide next year. And as always, you stay awesome, you stay super duper safe out there, folks, and I'll see you for the results of Round 1.